Namaste to all. Good morning. So welcome in this exercise two, where we are practicing the observation of interaction between the self and the body. So let me uh, brief the steps. So basically in step five, we are trying to read sensation if I think it is important. So reading or not reading a sensation is my decision that we have seen in step one to four of exercise two. If I think it is important to read sensation, I read sensation. If I don't think important to read the sensation, I don't read any sensation. So reading or not reading a sensation is my decision. And it depends upon what sensation I considered important. Then we associate meaning to a sensation and it depends upon my sanskar. And based on this meaning given to sensation, I get influenced by it or not, depending on my sanskar. So all this depends upon my sanskar. So body I am using to take information of outside environment. But how do I interpret it? How do I interpret this sensation? This depends upon my sanskar. So I need to observe my sanskar. So if my sanskar is based on understanding, my feeling is natural. Based on right understanding, I remain in a state of happiness. Rightly evaluate the input and respond. And if my sanskar is based on assumption, my feeling is not definite. I may incorrectly evaluate the input, become excited and react in a state of unhappiness. So therefore, I need to observe my sanskar. It may be based on understanding or it may be based on assumption. So this we are trying in this step number five. So if someone wants to share observations, you may share. Step by step. Bhaiya, namaste, bhaiya. Sabhi ko namaste. Namaste. Oh, I'm audible, bhaiya. Yes, that is. Yes. Ji, ji. Ji, bhaiya. Uh, bhaiya, don't think I am extending the discussion, uh, but I am exploring on myself and working on myself. That is why uh, I just want to clear one more uh, proposal, bhaiya. Mm -hmm. uh, bhaiya, let me take a small example. I have visited X for an official work. Then, after 5 or 10 minutes, that X is coming before all others and that X is saying that uh, Madam has come to my place and my pen has, uh, pen is stolen, pen is missing like that, that X is saying. Now, the truth is, I have not seen the pen, I have not taken the pen. Now, I want to defend. Suppose if X says, I have stolen the pen, then it is naturally natural for me to have a feeling of opposition. Then I will react. So all these steps follows by ya. My question by ya. So does this truth, I have not taken the pen, seen the pen. This is the truth. So I, at that moment, that is the truth. So I defend. If the per other person says I have stolen, I go into the feeling of opposition, reaction, etc. This truth and the reality we are talking. Are they same or different? So, Didi, you have to explore in yourself. Is it natural to have a feeling of opposition in me? Is it natural? Mm. This you have to no, ask. No, it's not yourself. natural. Yes. So, it is not natural. So, if it is not natural, it means I have taken decision. I have interpreted that sensation, those words spoken by X. So I have interpreted it based on my sanskar. And my sanskar is based on assumption, not reality. <clears throat> That's why I have a feeling of opposition. If my sanskars are based on reality, then it is difficult to have a feeling of opposition. Then I will not react on that person. I will respond to that person. 
so what is happening some words are being spoken you take decision mm. to read it once you read mm. it you starts giving meaning to these sensations and when you are giving meaning to this sensation your sanskars are involved into it and this time because you are influenced by your sanskar that's why you are influenced by your feeling right so what sanskars mm. are working i am not able to see that that person intention what i am mm. evaluating it his competence and at the level of what is happening if i am at the level of expectation in my consciousness mm. so my expectation is not being met by other person that's why i am in a reaction so i have some expectation that other person should tell truth and he is not able to speak truth so my expectation is not met that's why i have a feeling of opposition in me i have a reaction i am getting victim of my sanskar right if you are evaluating interpreting this meaning interpreting this sensation at the level of thought so will you will start thinking why it mm. is happening mm. and when you decide no my thoughts and his thoughts are not matching then again you will be in a reaction mm. and you will be victim of those mm. things mm. if you are evaluating your sanskar mm -hmm. giving interpretation to those sensation in in the position of desire when you are in the desire state so if you mm -hmm. are looking this event from the state of desire mm -hmm. so what is happening if you are expecting feeling from him feeling of respect that at least he should respect me he should not talk like this so feeling is not being met by him his person that person mm. so i am again in reaction because i was expecting some feeling and this feeling is not being fulfilled by him so again i am mm -hmm. uh, influenced by my sanskar again i am getting victim of my sanskar if you are seeing this event at the level of relationship contemplation mm then you will be able to see relationship with that person and with this when you read this sensation now you will be able to see that i am related to this person i have a feeling of relation in me now i will think what would be my participation in this case so because i am seeing this event at the level of contemplation at the level of relationship so now i am not expecting and anything from him but with the feeling of relationship now i am trying to think how can this feeling of relationship be fulfilled with him so at that place that place means at the level of uh, at the state of pure observer where i am able to see mm -hmm. relationship har uh, coexistence and harmony at that level i will not be influenced with my sanskar i can see my sanskar i can see others uh, sanskar also so at that level i will not be influenced by my sanskar so what will i do first i will evaluate my sanskar so with the feeling of relationship you know with the understanding of this relationship harmony and coexistence now i will mm. be able to see my sanskar so first i will rectify my sanskar why i have a feeling of opposition and i can rectify my sanskar on the basis of mm. understanding of this harmonic coexistence and relationship so first i will rectify my sanskar i will evaluate my sanskar and i will mm. find that feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to me i am with this feeling now i will interpret this sensation again and what is happening some sensations are taking place in my body, uh, body and i am reading it mm. and now i will start giving it interpretation some interpretation and with the state of pure observer observation uh, observer how will i interpret now 
I will interpret like this. That some words are coming. I am reading. With this, I am able to see that person is not evaluating me rightly. Only this has happened. I know that he has not evaluated me rightly, but I can do his right evaluation. I can do his right evaluation because I am not influenced by my sanskar. I am at a state of pure observer. So I can evaluate my sanskar as well as his sanskars also, his competence also. If I am doing this, then I will not be in a state of reaction. Then I will communicate it. Him. Then I will sit with him, try, try to understand his perception. I will tell myself and problem can be resolved. But I will not be in a reaction. This can happen, Didi. Your so, voice is not clear. I should not focus on the also uh, uh, to conclude by uh, I should not focus on the event and I should not focus on the behavior. Yes, you should focus on the relationship, mm -hmm. coexistence, harmony. If you will focus on these three things, coexistence, harmony, uh, and relationship, uh, then uh, at least you will not be in a state of reaction. Gigi. You are focusing only on the event, mm, mm, only mm. on his words, only on his behavior. Uh, uh. Gigi. So first you should focus on the this relationship, harmony and coexistence. Then you should focus on your sanskar. And once you are comfortable in your sanskar, then you focus on his sanskar with the feeling of relationship. Mm. And then we can communicate. I can communicate myself. I can listen to him. You know, whatever misperceptions are there, we can clear each other with the feeling of relationship. I was focusing the truth, Baya. I have not stolen it. That is the truth. Why it is different from the reality like that? So truth is somewhat truth different is, from the reality. Truth is coexistence. We both are in coexistence. Each unit is in coexistence with space. This is truth. But in colloquial language, we say no, Baya. But I have yeah. not stolen so that. That is the truth. Uh, so it is, it is not a truth. It is a description uh, of an event. Right, right, it right. It is a description of event. Mm -hmm. So what he is trying to say, he is saying from his sanskar. He is influenced by his sanskar. And I am influenced by my mm. sanskar. Mm -hmm. I am not in a state of pure observer. He is not in a state of pure observer. Then it is mm -hmm. difficult to say truth. right? So truth is, yes, means yeah. we are in coexistence. This is truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Justice is now I have a feeling of relationship. I can recognize relationship with him. And I can communicate with feeling of trust, with feeling of respect. And he will accept this feeling of relationship. Mm -hmm. He will not accept my justification. But he will accept this feeling of relationship. Mm -hmm. Right, Didi? Nice, nice. Priya. Now things are falling in place to me, Baya. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Baya. You can revise step 1 to 7 of exercise 1. Mm -hmm. That exercise 1 help us to be in a state of pure observer. Mm. Once I am in a state of pure observer, I will not be influenced by my sanskar. I am not be influenced by his or her sanskar. Right, Didi? Yes, yes. Bhaiya, last one thing, Bhaiya. So, step 4 of exercise 1 and... Step 5 of exercise 2 are interrelated. 100% I am responsible for my feeling. That yes. is related to step 5 of exercise 2, Baya. Mm. Yes. So when your sanskars are involved, you know, then mm. step 1 will, uh, exercise 1 will work here. So at this step, mm -hmm. when I am giving, uh, when I am interpreting the sensation, here is the place I have to do exercise one. Who is taking decision? Who is responsible for this decision? So if you go step five, four 
of exercise one that steps will work here right didi very, very nice bhaiya thank you thank you so much bhaiya lots yes, of clarity yes, thanks a lot okay didi thank you okay so we can talk you know about this step 5 step by step if anyone of us has observed how how this self and body are involved when we interact with other person when we interact with environment so if we have observed it step by step we can share our observation you know so it will give more clarity to all of us so we have yes hello am i audible yes bhaiya yes yes this reminds me of a similar incidents many years before uh, once i visited a uh, office of my head of the department and uh, while doing some work i just forgot my pen there mm-hmm. again asked him uh, that yesterday i was here and uh, did i forget my pen so he told yes sir you forgot your pen and uh, i got it but uh, you were my teacher and so uh, i have considered it very fortunate pen for me and uh, i will not return it to you i have kept it with me considering it as a, as a gift uh, from you so he very affectionately uh, told this and uh, uh, i felt ashamed myself 10 rupees ke pen ki kya value hai so i thought that itni to hum ek dusre ko chai pila dete so relationship is definitely more important than a small thing like 10 rupees pen and i uh, suddenly realize that i got computer and all working facilities because of my head of the department who was my student 12 years before and uh, for a small thing like this uh, i am this material thing should not come in relationship so after that suddenly i still remember this incident because it suddenly changed my attitude towards uh, these things now after so many years of service so many students colleagues take away many things from me like say a uh, pen plastic folder marker duster and i never ask them in return because i always consider that relationship with person is more important than this material facilities and uh, this uh, small things like 10 rupees pen should not uh, come in our relationship and that changed my entire say uh, view point toward looking at material things so if we have relationship more important than uh, physical facilities i think uh, we have our priorities in right place thank you so nice bhaiya so if my sanskar are based on reality reality of relationship harmony coexistence then we will be able to evaluate role of physical facility in relationship so important is to evaluate my sanskar important is to be in state of pure observer so once i am in state of pure observer i can evaluate my sanskar and when sanskars are evaluated then we can interact outside with knowing the role of physical facility then i will be knowing what is the role of physical facility what is the role of body what is role of outside environment when i interact with body then i will be evaluating rightly each thing each unit if i am in a state of pure observer okay so nice both sharing sir very good so if anyone has you know some observation regarding these steps then you can share are we able to see all these interaction step by step are we able to see the sensation at the level of body then i am am i able to see that i have read it decisively then are we aware when interpreting interpreting this this sensation am i aware that i am getting influenced by my sanskar am i aware that now i am deciding to express myself with the help of body am i aware that now i am giving decision instruction to my body so all these steps we are talking from last few days so if any one of us has observed all this sequence step by step you may share it namaste bhai namaste ji bhaiya this may be a question may be extension of this uh, sharing mm-hmm. bhaiya in this uh, in the reaction mode or response mode uh, somebody is not accepting the truth uh, though he knows internally that uh, i am i am lying 
ಒಂದು ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಮ್ ವೈ ನಾಟ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎನಿ ಇಗೋ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ವೇರ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಗೋ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಮೈ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಗೋ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಇಗೋ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ in simple language ego means i am not able to see coexistence with you i have evaluated myself more than you i have over evaluated myself and now i think what i am saying is true so this over evaluation is ego and it is happening at the level of sanskar but we have to explore in ourselves do we have enough potential to be in a state of harmony other person may be in ego may not be in ego but do we have potential to be in harmony this we have to explore in me if there is a choice in me then i can be in harmony irrespective of his behavior or word if i have no choice then definitely i am going to be victim of his behavior because i have no choice in me so that choice we have to explore in that case i have two choices may i forgive or ignore yes more choices are there in you one choice is to have a feeling of relationship with him True. with everybody True. so you have this choice also with that feeling of relationship i will decide whether this is right time to talk with him or not so if it is not right time so i will give some time to this uh, person to me and and i will observe the things when there will be right time i will talk him but i can be in feeling of relationship during this scenario this can happen in me True. so even if you ignore him by ignoring doesn't mean that you will be in a state of harmony so you can ignore him physically but at the level of mind you will be thinking of that person every time if you are not aware of your this understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence so ignorance is very temporary solution problem is in my sanskar so many people are not with us but we are consistently thinking of them and getting victim of past events so all these yeah, happening because of my sanskar so we have to work on our sanskar and this is a choice that i can work on my sanskar i can have a feeling of relationship this you know we can do right there okay so let me uh, put these sub steps briefly again you know, then we will take sharing okay so we are trying to see in this slide that how do we associate meaning to the sensation how we interpret sensation so we talked about this sequence <clears throat> when we interact with other person so let me brief this these sub steps so when i interact with other person other person you know say something to me behave with me and his behavior or his words reaches to my body and it creates some impact it creates some effect on my body and with this some physiochemical changes take place in my body so when a person talks to you you know his words sound comes into our ear it creates some sensation <clears throat> if i think it is important to listen that person then i take decision to listen to read sensation if i don't think important i don't listen that person so this is my decision to read the sensation or not so once i take decision i read the sensation i taste the sensation and when i read the sensation i associate meaning to the sensation and i am associating meaning to the sensation because i have formation of that language so suppose someone is speaking in english i know english then i can associate meaning to their sensation and meaning those sensation in conjunction with my sanskar so if my sanskar are based on reality 
then I will interpret same thing in another manner. If my sanskar are based on assumption, I will interpret same sensation in different manner. And the way I interpret, I get influenced. <clears throat> so I may be influenced, I may influenced, I may not influenced by those sanskar. So if I influence in a right manner, I will feel happy. If I am influenced in a wrong manner, you know, I feel unhappy. So role of body is very definite. Some sensation takes place in body. And when I take decision, I read it. Once I read it, now happiness, unhappiness will happen in me because I am experiencer. I am doer. So I am doer. That's why I am taking decision to read the sensation. Once I read that sensation, now I am experiencer also. Now I will feel happiness and happiness of my sanskar. And based on that influence, I may react, I may respond. So if my assumptions are based on reality, then I may respond to that person. If my assumptions are based on uh, sanskar are based on assumptions, I may react to that person. So once I decide to react or to respond, then I instruct my body. And body's body is an instrument. It just follows my instruction. So if you see this slide, this brown area indicate the role of body. And this purple area indicates the state of my myself, the state of the self, consciousness. So body role is very definite. Some impacts take place. If I decide to read it, I will read it. If I don't decide, decide to read it, I will not read it. But once I read it, now all calculation, all things will happen in me. I may happy, I may not be happy. And it is not because of that person, that event outside. It is because of my sanskar. Event is event. So yesterday we were discussing that same words you know, if it's spoken by other person in other area they enjoy it but the same word if it's spoken in other area people start fighting each other just give me a few seconds and i'm changing my network just few seconds yes so yesterday we were discussing that same words in a particular area are enjoyed by people but same words in different area become reason for fight. So words are not problem. Sensations are happening in the body because of those words, sound is not a problem. Problem starts when I give meaning to this sensation because it depends on my sanskars. So if I interpret it, interpret it rightly based on reality, then I decide to respond to this sensation, to that person. If I am not able to interpret it with the understanding of reality, then I may react. And who is going to victim of this reaction or response? First, myself. The other person will be unhappy when I will react on him. But till I am not reacting, I am getting victim of my sanskar. And so when you react on him, it will take two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. But what is happening in you is making you happy or unhappy for a long time. So role of body is very definite. That we are trying to see in this exercise too. So in exercise two, we are trying to see the role of body, and how interaction takes place between self and body, and where is the role of my sanskar when I read this sensation. So if I am aware the role of my sanskar, I can work on my sanskar, right? So let me uh, give one example. Suppose. So suppose some sensation is taking place in your body. 
now nobody is involved no other person is involved in this example some sensation takes place in my body so suppose headache you know there is a headache so it is happening at the level of body basically it is not a headache it is some event some physiochemical activities taking place in the body if i want to read this sensation i will read this sensation if i don't think important i am busy else uh, somewhere else i don't read this sensation but if i take decision to read this sensation then i read it and associate meaning to it and now i have associated meaning as a headache i have learned that this kind of sensation is a headache and headache will make me unhappy this association we have made in ourselves so once i read it as a headache not as a activity i may start reacting on it because due to my sanskar due to my acceptance i am reading this sensation as a headache otherwise only physiochemical activity is taking place in the body but i don't see this as a physiochemical activity first i immediately see it as a headache and immediately i think that this headache will make me happy is making me unhappy so i may start reacting on it i may take some medicine and try to suppress this pain so once i react inside i immediately instruct my body go take medicine you know have this med medicine then body goes take this medicine and the headache is suppressed so this is one way of interacting with the body and the way of reaction what could be another way of interacting with this body other way is i am reading this sensation i am aware that some physiochemical activity is taking place in my body and with my decision i am reading it and when i am reading it i see as a headache i interpret as a headache now if i am aware of the reality then i can see the whole existence if you see the whole existence each unit of this existence is self organized and body is also a self self organized and body has enough ability to heal itself so what i will do i will facilitate this body to heal by itself so i may take warm water i may take rest i may facilitate the body to heal itself if i am aware that body is a self organized unit and it can heal itself if i give some time so if i am responding i will facilitate body to heal itself i will lie down on the bed i will take rest i will take warm water i can take walk but if i am aware that body is a self organized unit if i am not aware i have assumed something else about the body so i start taking medicines and that medicines has side effects on other parts of the body and i am also not aware of this so i take this medicine to heal that headache but it is impacting other parts of body also so because i am reading it as a headache and a pain is in my center that's why i start reacting to this body i start taking steps to suppress this pain to suppress this headache but if i am aware that body is also a self organized unit it can heal itself so i will facilitate this body to heal by itself and i instruct my body take rest take warm water lie down for some time so we may facilitate it so we may facilitate it we may react on this body so it depends on our sanskar it depends on how i see the body so this is how we can interact with the body the way of reaction by the way of response also
so if you see the whole process if you see the whole process so sensations are taking place in my body and i read it with my decision i associate meaning to the sensation and this meaning is based on my sanskar and i get influenced by my sanskar and once i am influenced i decide to react or response so if my sanskar is based on understanding my sanskar may based on assumption so if it is based on understanding i respond i respond to body i respond to other person with the help of body if my sanskar are based on assumptions i may be in a reaction and i may react even handling body i may react even handling some other person and it reaches us the state of unhappiness so therefore i need to observe my sanskar is it based on understanding or is it based on assumption so if my sanskar are based on reality understanding then i will respond to body i will respond to other person and it will be definite that my response i will respond to body and to other person if my sanskar are based on assumption then there is a indefiniteness i may react i may respond so this is how the things are happening step by the step all right so now we can take 5 minute pause and you observe it if no one is there around you then you observe your body and see how you interpret sensations that take place in your body how are you interpreting it are you able to see your sanskar then you be aware you are reacting or responding you know to those sanskar to those you know a sanskar for example if you are sitting in a ac room and there is a okay temperature for your body now you put off your ac after few minutes your body will be sweating now what happens in you can you observe it observe it and observe whether you are reacting or responding what decision you take in you for the body it is based on reaction or response all we have to observe it so 6:15 now for the next 5 minutes we can take pause and start observing 6:20 we will back so you we may sit comfortably and start observing these sensations whether it is coming from other person or happening at the level of body how am am i reading this sensation what sanskars are involved in is it based on reality or an assumption i am reacting or responding this we have to observe in these 5 minutes okay so welcome back so if you have sharing observation you may share with us yeah namaste bhaiya so uh, like i had met you there in iit kanpur and it was a pleasure meeting you well uh, coming yeah. on to this uh, um, uh, this particular exercise so i had an uh, you know experience which i want to share which is quite mm -hmm. relevant to this like uh, when we had planned for this uh, visiting the sansthan and uh, mm -hmm. so we went uh, by the bus and suddenly we uh, we came to know that just while we were entering there were around 2 to 2.5 kilometers to reach the sansthan and suddenly there was some uh, you know the tree fell down and the bus could mm -hmm. not go from there so uh, there was uh, some decision that we had to walk down for 2 kilometers and uh, it would be convenient so uh, with that like you know as uh, the sensations that i got from my body was of a lot of pain and uh, you know how difficult it is for me to walk down for 2 kilometers and so all these uh, things were all going on in my mind and whereas i saw uh, like there were others who very sportively went off and they were very uh, you know comfortable with that so there i realized that these sensations that i got from my body and the decision that you know and sometimes i also took the decision that okay let me get back because probably i won't be able to uh, you know uh, go uh, that far so these are certain uh, you know things that i realized that uh, the when we 
go when we start uh, reading our sensations so it is so much uh, you know dominant on our uh, thoughts so this is what i wanted to share bhaiya right so they are dominant because you have made association like this right yes so, yes so it is up to us whether to rightly evaluate the sensation or to over evaluate the sensation yes absolutely i realized so that. generally generally we over evaluate the sensation under evaluate ourselves true right but Very. with right sanskar with right understanding we can rightly evaluate my sanskar we can rightly evaluate sensation also very true i do get it yes then i can be in harmony my interaction with the body can be in harmony and body can also be in harmony if i evaluate it rightly yes, yes. so that uh, the example which i was trying to explain the example of headache yes now it is a physiochemical activity taking place in body but very soon it dominate us yes and we start reacting on it yes so many people i have seen in the case of headache they immediately take medicine some allopathic medicine yes they do not wait for the body and body can heal itself if you give some time but many people start reacting it appears that body is is dominating their consciousness but yes. people are not aware that i am you know allowing my body because i am not aware of myself so i get influenced by sensations taking place in the body and take decision accordingly yes yes very true this is up to us this is up to us yes but yeah all these realizations i had because uh, you know the same thing i felt sick towards the end and uh, so i stopped eating for two days i and i realized that i was much better on the third day so this was also one of the experiences that i had because earlier had it been so i would have immediately taken some medicines and uh, rested uh, fe feeling that i was very sick so very true bhai all this thank you so much namaste right did so it is good that we are observing you know myself we are observing ourselves body interaction between the two so soon we will be able to understand what decision i am taking is based on my sanskar and body is just a body it is an instrument only yes so in yes. case overeating hmm so you may give rest to body body will heal itself but yes. we are so influenced by our sensation that we start taking this gastric tablets you know mm, etc right. etc right but if you drop uh, this food for whole day or one day or two day body will heal itself yes yes it did happen so yes so body is a self organized unit it can heal itself Yes, right, yes. Didi. Nice, Didi. <laughs> Thank nice you, Bhaiya. Namaste. Namaste, Didi. Okay, so only two minutes are remaining. So I am not going to take sharing, though there are many hands raised. But we will take their sharing tomorrow. So all we have to do is to be aware of this interaction. We have to go these sub steps. the more we go into these sub steps the more we will be clear about these steps we will get we will see that we have enough opportunity to evaluate my sanskar but if we are not seeing these events step by step then it may give an impression that things happen immediately but things are not happening immediately i am ignoring all these sub steps that's why many times i feel helpless what to do but if i see interaction between the body and the self step by step i will not be helpless i will be in a state of to read step by step to correct you know to evaluate my sanskar then decide 
whether to react or to respond. Then I will give instruction. All these things can happen if I am aware of this interaction. So nice that many of us ask, are observing these steps. And so keep practicing it. I am also practicing it with you.